Yo what is going on guys, welcome to the third tutorial in my course series. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this cool liquid text animation inside of Filmora 13. This animation is very easy to create, so let's jump into Filmora and get started. Okay guys here I use 1920 by 1080 resolution with 60 fps, so you can use any resolution you like here. Okay first we need to add a background, so go to the stock media, and I pick this black color as my background. So I use black color, because we going to use glow effects, so then we need to add text, so go to the text, and add the default title to the timeline. Okay then go to the text settings, and customize it you like. So here I type liquid, and I use Gotham Ultra Italic font style, and I increase the text scale a little bit like this. Okay after that we need to create a stroke text layer, so I simply take a copy of this text layer, and paste it right here. Then we need to change this to a stroke text, so go to the advanced settings, and disable the fill, and enable the outline, then I change the outline color to white and outline thickness to 2. Then click apply. Ok now we have our both text layers. So now let's add animation to our stroke text layer. So go to the animation. And I add this typewriter animation to this. Also I change the duration to something 1 second. Ok now we have this kind of animation. So then I like to add zoom out animation. So I go to the beginning of this layer. And go to the video section. After that I increase the scale to 200, and create a keyframe. Then go to the few seconds forward, like 1.40 seconds, and change this back to 100, then open the keyframe panel, and select all these keyframes. Then right click, and add the curve preset to these keyframes. Ok guys now our text animation looks like this. Ok guys now we need to change these layers to compound clips, so first I select this stroke text layer, and press alt plus g to create a compound clip, then I named it the stroke text layer, and hit ok, then I select these two layers, and change them to a compound clip, and I named it normal text, and hit ok. Ok after creating the compound clips, bring these layers to the upper layer like this. After that I hide these layers for now. Ok then we need to create our liquid waves, first we need to add a color layer, so go to the stock media, and you can pick any solid color or gradient color you like. So I select this blue color, and it to the timeline, then we need to add slide up animation to this, so I select here on the timeline, and bring this layer down, and create a keyframe, then go a few seconds forward, like 4 seconds, and bring this layer up like this. Ok now we have this kind of slide up animation. So then I like to add two more layers. So I take a copy of this layer, and paste two times like this. Then we can replace the color of these layers. So pick another color you like. So I select this light blue color, and drag it on top of this layer. Then hold the alt key on the keyboard, and drop it like this. So guys you can see it perfectly replaced our layer color. So next I need to do the same thing for my other layer, so I do it like this. So you can see we don't need to recreate our animations. Ok after that we need to change these layers to a compound clip. So first I select this layer, and press alt plus g to create a compound clip. Then I named it wave 1, and hit ok. Then I do the same thing for my other color layers. Ok after creating the compound clips. We need to add a wave effect to this, so go to the effects tab, select Boris FX, select warp, then select BCC wave effect, and I add it to my wave 1 layer. Ok now it gives this kind of look, but we need to adjust some settings this effect. So go to the effect settings, and first select the height, so you can adjust the wave height using this setting. I change it to something 300, then go to the wave width and I change it to like 260. Then I change the speed value to something like 1.5. And go to the wave angle, and I change the angle to 80. Ok guys now we have this kind of wave animation. So now we need to add this wave effect to our other wave layers. 
So you can do it by simply right click on this layer, select effect, then select copy effect. After that I select my wave 2 layer, and right click, select effect, then select paste effect. So now we have the same wave effect. So then I do the same thing for my wave 3 layer. Okay after that go 5 frames forward, and drag these layers like this. Okay guys now our wave animation looks like this. So here you can see an empty look in this area. We can fix that by adjusting the wave layer position, but first we need to adjust the wave scale. So I select this layer, and go to the scale, then click this lock button. After that I increase the X scale to something 140. Then I do the same thing for my other wave layers like this. After that we can adjust the layer's position like this. Okay now we complete our liquid wave animation. So now we need to put these waves inside our text. So first I unhide my normal text layer. After that we need to blend this layer to visible our wave animation inside our text. So go to compositing, and change the blend mode to darken. So guys now it looks like this. So after that we can add our stroke text layer to this. So I unhide my stroke text layer. Then I like to add fade out animation to this stroke text. So I select here. Create a keyframe on opacity, then go a few seconds forward, and change the opacity to zero, like this. Then open the keyframe panel, select this last keyframe, and I add a curve preset to this. Okay guys now our liquid text animation looks like this. Okay finally we need to add our glow effect to this. So first I drag my stroke text layer to the upper layer. Then we need to add an adjustment layer to add our effect. So I add it like this. Okay then go to the effect tab, select plus light in the Boris FX. Then select BCC plus raise effect, and add it to this adjustment layer. So this effect gives this kind of cool glowy ray look to our animation. So let's animate our glow effect. So go to the effect settings, select rays, then you can adjust the brightness you like. So I change it to something like 90. Then we need to add a fade out look to our glow effect. So I select here, and create a keyframe on brightness, then go to the end of the animation and I change the brightness to something like 13, or something 12. Okay guys now our liquid text animation is complete, so here's the result. So guys that's how we can make awesome liquid text animation inside of Filmora 13 and it's very easy to create, and you can download the complete project file, through the link in the description. And also if you need to learn more Filmora tutorials, you can check my Filmora tutorial playlist, or you can visit to the Filmora Creator Hub, to access more awesome tutorials, so you can follow the links below to access the Filmora Creator Hub. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoy this, also please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next, so let's meet up the next video, take care and peace.